Guys, I'm super excited about this video because it is today that I'm showing you how to use Captera to get your ideal B2B clients. What is Captera? First of all, if you haven't heard of it, like these guys are helping businesses choose better software since 1999. So it's essentially, it's a massive software and not just software directory. So they've got all these different categories. Once you check them out, CRM software, email marketing software, help desk software, service categories, accounting firms, digital marketing agencies, advertising agencies. So if you are looking to sell to any of these guys, and they've got loads of SaaS companies here as well. If you're looking to sell to any of these guys, Captera is awesome for it because if a business exists on Captera, it pretty much exists out there. And it's a really, really good place to get all those different leads. What is the problem with Captera though? So I'll show you. So suppose we are an SEO agency looking to work with some accounting firms. So I'm going to click accounting firms here. Don't opens up. And then they've got this massive list. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll just see how, how much it is here. And then they've got all these other pages. Okay. So the problem is once you click on these profiles, you end up looking not just at the website, but you actually see their profiles within the cap terror. Okay. And um, you can of course, access their website right here. So in this case, it's this. And let's just see, let's see where it goes. But it's so complicated because well, here you are, you're on this website right now. And then in order to find the decision maker for this website, well, you can either find them using like a try to find it like using Hunter cold email, uh, like the email search tool, which is um, which is something I don't recommend doing because you want to establish relationship with people first. But like, where do it where do it go from here? Of course, I can do, go to the LinkedIn profile, but I don't even see it here. So um, it's it's pretty complicated finding the decision maker and really connecting to the right person within this thing. So in this video, I'm going to show you the method that you can use in order to get all these guys directly to your LinkedIn. And then from inside the LinkedIn, you will find the decision makers of all of these companies. And I'm going to show you how to do it right here, right now. Before we go any further, there are some prerequisites. So you need to get this little Chrome extension called Link Clump. You also need Orange Fox Cleaner, which is free. I'll show you how to use that as well. And this is the, the most important bit, which is the Sales Navigator Advanced Team Plan, which is one level above the core Sales Navigator tool. It is so, so powerful. It costs quite a lot of money, but if you're doing any sales, this is the thing. Like it helps you so much. The idea is that it, this tool actually allows the CSV uploads to happen. And that means that we will find the list of companies and just upload them to our LinkedIn and then make it work like that. Okay. So without further ado, let's just get going. So again, I'm going to keep myself with the original example of these accounting firms. I'm going to close all of these for now. Now, once I'm on the page here, I'm going to use link clump Chrome extension because what I need right now is I want to get all of these companies. I want to take all of them and basically put them all in my little CSV file that I will use in a moment. So the way link clump works is that there are different settings here. So once you install it, what you need to do is you have to have all these options checked out. So the most important thing is titles only and copy format, click edit. And then it's going to be here. Copy format titles on. You click save and off you go. So once we're here and uh, I've got my little like to activate link club again, I'm going to show you real quick. So to activate it in this case, I've got left mouse button and Z key. Yeah. So I have to hold the Z key and left mouse button to activate it. So I'm going to do it right now, holding the Z and left mouse and see the way it's working. So it's like a little, kind of scraper, a little manual scraper we can use. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically scroll all the way down, all the way down. It's taking a bit longer for, 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 for some reason, the speed of the scroll is pathetic. It actually went a lot faster before, maybe 
because I'm recording the video. But basically what it's doing right now, it's copying all of these texts, yeah, all of this link links. And I'm go just going to go a few more rows here. I am. And you can see there's a little number 25. So I let go here. And now I'm going to go into my little CSV file that I prepared. And I'm going to click the copy, uh, the paste, simple paste button here. So there we go. Now you've got the whole list of all of these companies directly from Patera. So next thing that you do, you actually want to get the company URL profiles for all of these companies. And to do this, I recommend using a search operator that works like this. So you basically want to tell Google that you want to search LinkedIn and I'm actually going to explain this to you here. Let's take this as an example. So I'm going to paste it here and you can see that people are already searching for this stuff. And then there's this LinkedIn. So here's the end, end result. So this is the remote, uh, remote solutions, remote team solutions. Okay. So I'm going to paste it here because it's already perfect. Yes. Yeah, so here's my profile of the company. So see the way the link is structured. Yeah. So it's got this part HTTPS www LinkedIn company. So I'm going to basically take this first part. I'll see it actually if it works like this, because if it does, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to paste it here and um, that's it. And now I'm going to use a simple, a very, very simple con concatenate function where this part will be the first and then I'll have this bit second and um, this is what is going to come out of it basically I actually don't like it that much let me try this then real quick yeah there we go so I have a bit of a gap here so now I'm going to copy this and see if that works so basically the goal here is that I'm telling LinkedIn I'm telling Google that I only want Google to search from within this address so I'm telling Google okay Google go search and everything that LinkedIn has nested under this URL like this a subfolder in um, the URL that also has like it has to be it has to do something with the sensible services ABC LLC and here we go that's actually the result I was hoping for so now I got it and I copy it here so now I'm going to paste it right here in the result okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here so it all extends up to the very final result and I'm going to double click here so I get all these other URLs basically search operators installed so now I'm going to also I'm going to select all of this and click copy the next thing that I do I'm going to open up a separate window and I'm going to use, I actually forgot to mention that, that's called copy URLs to clipboard. That's another Chrome extension that allows you to copy all of these different links and basically paste them at the same time. So I'm going to paste them here right now. The problem is that it's not going to load, but it still is better than, um, than pasting them individually. Yeah, so all I need to do now is click enter on each of these. Yeah, so it's a bit of a manual kind of labor. Okay, so now I've got some of them loaded. Hopefully I'll get all of the results. And then basically what I do is that I simply click the first link and let the thing load. So there we go. This is the, the company profile. So now I have a bit of a something uh, LinkedIn not finding this exactly. Uh, Google not finding this uh, pretty well. So I don't know, maybe they're not on LinkedIn. That can also be the case, but everything else seems to be going all right. So now I'm going to use this Chrome extension once again, and I'm going to click copy. So now I've got 23 URLs copied. I'm going back to my file here, and um, I'm 
I can actually set up a different sheet. And uh, all I need to do is paste them here, then use this filter, sort Z2A, and basically here's the list of my company, of my company URLs, okay? So now I have this clean list that I can simply include right here. And now suppose I went through all of these results. So I've got all of these companies that everything, I've, I've everything organized right now in this LinkedIn URL column. So now I'm just going to, like here, everything is actually nice and clean. The only thing I mentioned orange uh, fox at the start is because it, it allows you to clean certain parameters. Like, let's see if this about bit would disappear if I trim to subfolder because sometimes there are like some weird tracking parameters here like UTM tracking parameters so what if you have something funny going on because you really want those clean links if you have something funny going on all you need to do is paste all your results here and click trim to subfolder and I'm just curious if this then will disappear now no it didn't so it doesn't clean up this then but anyway if you've got an one about you can just trim it in my experience it doesn't happen that often so it's not something you should be worried about so you go back to Coptera and uh, basically paste them once again so now everything is nice and neat okay now before I can upload all these results to LinkedIn sales navigator advanced I have to give them the name okay because that's just the way the CSV upload works there it's a it, it's a must-have column there so to do this I keep it very simple it doesn't really matter what the name is so I keep this regex replace function so all you need to do now is copy basically I'm just going to put it up here and I've got it an error here but the reason it's happening is because uh, this is like the link kind of thing so I think that should work right fine right now uh, give it to me Give it to me. There we go. It's working now. So there we go. Basically, what it does is just it cleans up the rest of the parameters and uh, takes out this part and puts it in the first column. Okay. So now I'm going to see if it works like this, and it does. So now I've got my list of uh, LinkedIn company URLs and their names. So what I do next is I go into download and I go click CSV file. So that then is downloaded. So now I go to the LinkedIn profile, I go to Sales Navigator. And again, you need to have the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Advanced. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. Sales Navigator Advanced, okay? So once you have that, you go into, you go into Accounts, and then you go Add Accounts, and then you've got this Upload from CSV thing here. So you click on it and here it's telling you, which I already told you that you need to have include one of the following two preferred fields um, and then also have, well, actually you can just have two URLs. Anyway, so I'm going to continue and I'm going to select my sheet right here. So account name is just name. So this is the first column and then LinkedIn company URL is LinkedIn URL. I continue and I can kind of give it like a little description. I highly recommend adding something smart, like for example, that you've gone through the first page of a specific URL, like, you know, gone, I'll just give it uh, all results, results from this page included. Yeah, so that now I know that I've gone through this page and that I will not be doing myself, um, you know, I won't be repeating the task. But anyway, now I click finish and uh, LinkedIn is going to do its magic now in a few moments because it's very, very quick the way it's able to match the uploaded results that I have. Three, two, one. There we go. Wasn't it beautiful? 11. So it's found 11 results and uh, see how, how much I have on file. I've got exactly 11. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect here. Sometimes it's a little bit off. Yeah, but it, it makes sense. So now I'm going to click on these results and then I'm going to click view in search and then I'm going to go to lead. So now 
you can see that I've got this list here, Captera Cheat One. So this is the exact cheat that I had down, I had uploaded here a few moments ago, and um, and that's it. So it's showing us 1,000 plus results. So these are all the people that have that mentioned that they work in this company. So what I do next? Well, here's the best part. I find the decision maker. I find the decision maker by going to their current job title, and I'm basically typing in like owner or CEO, yeah, depending on who is the decision maker in an account. So there we go, how cool is this? And I've got the president as well, and yada yada. I've got 19 results. Yeah, so it's a little over than the number of companies that I got. You can further clean this up by going into company headcount. You can pick the companies, you know, by their headcount. So for example, if that's one to 10 is, doesn't sound good for you. You can only pick people that work in companies with this amount of headcount. Or you can even pick geography. Yeah, you can go into maybe you don't you don't any don't want anybody from Florida, for example. So you can type in Florida, and then you can exclude, and then Raul will be gone. Yeah, so you've got like a little less people right there. That's how powerful this stuff is. What you do next is I recommend you go actually directly to their LinkedIn profiles because what Sales Navigator allows you to do is basically you can click add like connect with them, but you will be connecting with them from inside the sales navigator. So if you choose to cancel LinkedIn sales navigator, it will like this connection will stay inside it. And um, you will basically kind of lose, you, ha you would have to reconnect with a person right away to keep in touch with them once again, because they have separated different inboxes. Yeah, so LinkedIn sales navigator inbox is different to the inbox that you have from inside your profile. So this email, uh, this inbox, is different from this inbox yeah so you want to click that's that's what I do so I go into individual profiles like that and basically view them on LinkedIn and then you know it's uh, wherever you take it from there I like to leave a comment if they have anything that is worth commenting or I go just straight for a connection request and I of course add a note that would make my approach a little bit more personalized which would allow me to connect with them better and uh, that's pretty much it guys this process is really really robust because you can use Captera to find SaaS clients you can use Captera to find digital marketing agencies SEO companies web design companies all these other different softwares as well and then you kind of reverse engineer. You have the, you have all those companies that you pull together. You have those lists, yeah, because you know they're on, if they're on cap there, it means they're good, yeah. And then you upload those lists to LinkedIn. LinkedIn does its magic, matches things up, and then you've got your access to all of these decision makers. And uh, isn't it isn't it something special? I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.